struggling with changing light conditions when editing your videos, then this plugin could be the answer for you. If you're into videography, I'm sure that something you've battled against at some point will be natural light. Let me explain. Whilst natural light can provide brilliant conditions for creating content in, unless you're some kind of deity, it's completely untamable. You'll know the story. You set up your shot, you nail the focus, you ensure exposure is perfect, and then halfway through recording the scene, the sun goes behind a cloud and your exposure is off. Now, if this is something like a talking head scene or a particularly long shot, then you can't constantly stop recording and start again every time this happens. You might be recording forever. So really your only option is to fix this in post-production. Now, maybe you don't mind these changes in light. However, I think for content like this, you really want a constant light source, meaning that you don't want fluctuations while you're recording. It's just off-putting. And that's why a lot of content creators, myself included, have historically really looked for situations where they don't have any natural light at all. Everything is artificial so that it can be controlled and you don't have that fluctuation. The problem with taking this approach is it's really limiting. It really inhibits where you can actually record. Now there are things you can do whilst recording to try and actually remedy this situation. For instance, you could set the ISO and the white balance settings in your camera to automatic, meaning that it will try and adjust them as it's recording to ensure that the light is level. But in my experience, this is really hit and miss. When I've used it before, it's randomly changed through that recording process and actually not kept the light level. It's done the complete opposite. It's actually created change, not ideal. So leveling the light across a scene is really something that is best dealt with in post-production. And there are many YouTube videos going through different ways of doing that manually. However, they all seem to be really time consuming and actually require a level of expertise that some people might just not have. Well, that is until now. I was looking through the Adobe plugin store the other day and stumbled across this light equalizer plugin for Premiere Pro. And it seemed designed to remedy the exact situation we've just been describing, fixing light fluctuations in video automatically in post-production. Let's check it out. This is the light equalizer plugin. Okay, so it's a plugin. Nothing particularly exciting to unbox or show you. So let's just get on with how it works. Take a look at this piece of footage I recorded the other day. I just set my camera running whilst preparing some content for this channel. It's around 20 minutes of footage squashed into 12 seconds. Now, whilst it's not the most exciting of shots, you can see that throughout the duration of that recording, the light fluctuates really heavily. Whilst the shot was initially properly exposed, the natural light dimmed so much that by the end of the recording, it was really, really dark. In fact, about five minutes later, this happened. Anyway, let's take a look at how the Light Equalizer plugin can help in this situation. And first up, let's see what kind of results you can get. We'll then move on to how you actually use it. And believe me, it's really, really simple. Here's a 20 second excerpt from the longer recording you saw before. As you can see, the natural light level drops during it. Now this is really emphasized if I scrub through the footage quickly. As you can see, at the beginning is quite bright and it darkens off towards the end. Now here is the same piece of footage, but this time the light equalizer plug-in correction is applied. As you can see, there is no perceivable drop-off in light at all. To really demonstrate the level of correction the plugin has applied, let me show you the two pieces of footage next to each other, and then you'll really see how the light is leveled out post-application. You can really see that the one on the left, pre-correction, suffers from light drop-off. The one on the right does not. Later in the video, we'll look at how effective the plugin can be in a more extreme example. But before we get to that, let's take a look at how you actually use it using the piece of footage you've just seen here. I already have the plugin on my computer. However, once purchased, it comes with a simple installer which can be used to attach it as an extension to your Premiere Pro. Really easy. So let's get into how to actually use it. Here is the same piece of footage we were looking at previously. And this is before I've used the Light Equalizer plugin on it. I have performed some rudimentary color grading on it using the luminary color effect. As you can see, if I open that up, I have changed the exposure a bit, added some contrast, and messed around a bit with the shadows and whites to really get the look I'm comfortable with. And generally what I do if I'm going to use the Light Equalizer plugin is ensure that the very first frame of piece of footage is exactly how I want it. It's got the look that I want, but also the light is at the correct level. We'll come on more as to why that is important shortly. So now if I want to open up the plugin, I go to the top, go to window, go to extensions, and there it is, light equalizer. If I select that, then the plugin opens up. 
Now this plugin is super easy to use. It literally has two controls. Firstly, you need to tell it whether you want it to analyze the clip you are correcting forwards or backwards using this drop down menu. The plugin uses a frame on the selected clip on which the playhead is located, this blue line, as a reference point as to what level of light you want to maintain. Selecting either forwards or backwards tells the plugin that you either want to maintain the light level in line with the selected frame on a moving forward basis or moving backwards. Now going back to why I always ensure the very first frame looks as I want, I always leave this setting on forwards and use that first frame as a reference point, meaning that everything after that is going to be leveled to that very first frame. Now the other control tells the plugin how often you want it to make adjustments in order to keep the light level. As you can see here, I have it set to 25 frames, meaning that the plugin will make an adjustment every 25 frames to make sure that the light equals that of the very first frame that I selected. Now my footage is shot at 25 frames a second, so that realistically means it's making an assessment to level the light once every second. However, you can set this to whatever you want. If you're shooting at a different frame rate, then maybe you can change a number to equal that. Or if you've got a thing where the light is fluctuating really quickly and often, then potentially you want to put a lower number in there to make sure that more assessments occur more frequently and therefore the light is maintained more accurately. The only problem with doing that is it takes longer to process. So let's run the plugin on this clip. I'm set to analyze forwards and make an assessment every 25 frames to ensure the light is level. The very first frame of the clip is selected as discussed before. So then all I need to do is scroll down here and hit equalize. And that's it, done. I'm guessing that took around 10 seconds to process the actual light leveling on this 20 second clip. Okay, now the plugin is run, we can shut it down. Let's check out the result. Let's run the clip and see whether or not it has fixed the light drop off. Let's take a closer look to see what a plugin has actually done. If I close up the luminary color effect which I put in place, you can see that it's created another one. If I open up the basic corrections part of the luminary color, you can see that it's created keyframes every 25 frames on the temperature, tint and exposure controls to ensure that it's matching the picture to that first frame that I selected. If I scrub through the footage, you'll see that those controls actually move throughout the frame to make sure that the picture is matched. Here you can see towards the end of the clip, the exposure goes up to about 0.3 to keep the light level. It's also adjusting the temperature and tint to make sure that the picture remains the same. But what if you split one scene into multiple parts? How do you run the plugin on that? Well, if you watch my videos, you'll know that I love a jump cut, mainly because I'm a terrible presenter. So I've come across this situation previously and I've found a couple of ways of dealing with it. The first and obvious one is to actually run the light equalizer before you split it up, run it on a source clip, and then you can break it up as you like and it will already have been light leveled. But there is another way. Let me demonstrate. If I take this scene and split it in two, I then end up with two clips and I can't run the light equalizer on them both at the same time. So if I want to keep the light equal across these two clips, what I can do is nest them. If I select them both, right click and hit nest, give it a name, nest one. What it's done is put those both in a single container and I can run the light equalizer plugin on that. This ensures that even though I've split these up, I can get that level light all the way across. Just remember, you need to ensure those clips are all from the same scene. Otherwise, you might end up with some odd behavior. Now, as promised earlier on, let's check out how this plugin handles a more extreme example. This is the original 20 minute piece of footage I took. And if you recall, it starts off pretty well exposed, but towards the end gets very, very dark. What I'm going to do is run the light equalizer plugin on this. We can see how long that takes and then speed it up. I won't make you watch the whole 20 minutes. We can then AB the before and after and see what that looks like. Let's get on with it. So again, as before, I'm going to select the very first frame to be the reference point. I'm then going to open up the plugin. I'm not gonna make any changes to the settings. I'm going to leave it analyzing forwards and assessing the light every 25 frames. Ensure the clip is selected, scroll down, hit equalize, and let's see how long it takes. Okay, so the plugin's finished, and I'm guessing that took around 15 minutes. I'll put a timer at the bottom of the screen, so you'll know exactly how long it took better than me. It's not the quickest in the world, but to be honest with you, I think if you think about how long it would take you to do that manually, it's pretty quick. Anyway, let's take a look at the results. Here you can see I've taken the two sped up versions of the clip and put them next to each other. On the left, you have the version which has not had any corrections applied, and on the right, 
is a version which has had the corrections applied. Let's play them and see how much difference it makes. Already you're beginning to see the effect of the plugin. The one on the left is getting way darker. The one on the right is raining very level. And I find that pretty amazing. If we take a look at the last frame, you can see the one on the left is really, really dark, whereas the one on the right has really actually retained the same light that we saw in the very first frame. I think this demonstrates how powerful this plugin really is. And if you go back and review that running through, you see the one on the right remains level all the way. One thing I will say about the plugin is it's not a miracle worker. As you can see on the larger version of the corrected clip, towards the end, the exposure is being pushed up around 3.4 stops. Now that's a lot. And actually, if you take a closer look at some of the footage, you will see, especially towards the end here, there's beginning to be some artifacting and some real noise being introduced. At the end of the day, pushing any footage 3.4 stops is pretty extreme. And I didn't record this in log. This is a pretty basic recording format, so it has suffered a bit, but this was a really extreme example. So to summarize, I think this plugin is awesome. It's really, really useful. And if you find yourself in a situation of having footage where the light is fluctuating heavily, it really can be a lifesaver. Now, cost-wise, this cost me £20, so it'll be around $20 in the US. And I think that's actually not that expensive when you consider what it's doing for you. If I had tried to figure out how much time I actually spend trying to correct light in footage, then I think that's an absolute snip. I think that's a bargain. I would recommend this plugin to anybody who's into videography and finds themselves shooting outdoors a lot or producing talking head scenes like this. I think it's incredibly useful, a huge time saver, and really achieves something which I don't think you can do manually, at least not with the accuracy that this does. I've left two links in the description box below, one to the Adobe store where you can buy this, but also to the creator's website. Go and check it out and potentially buy it from there because I dare say they'll get a bit of cut of the profits for the product they've produced. So that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful to you. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing so you can see my future content. And as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. And until next time, have a great day.